Hi, I'm Carla Hall, and I want to show you how to make Nashville hot chicken. Now, you know, the hot chicken is just a unique twist on the traditional southern chicken, which is just cooked in uh, a cast iron skillet. And we take it one step further by tossing it in this spicy cayenne paste. So the first thing that I do is I make a brine. And that's going to keep your chicken really moist so that when it fries, it's not going to dry out. And it also imparts some flavor. So I have four cups of water here. And I'm going to be doing about um, two pounds of chicken. So four cups of water. I have some habaneros or scotch bonnets, salt, kosher salt, and sugar. So into your food processor or blender, I'm going to put in about a cup of water, just enough really to blend up this habanero pepper. And if you like it really spicy, you can do a couple of these. Now, do not forget to use gloves if you're working with these because if you, hit, if you touch your eye after you've touched these, not only is your eye gonna be hot, you don't even want your hot chicken. So anyway, so go in with gloves or be very careful. So I'm going in here with one habanero, about a quarter cup of salt, and then I'm doing about a quarter cup of sugar. Then I just turn on my food processor, and I just want to blend that up until it's all smooth and pureed. <laughs> Careful, because the gases from the habanero are going to kick back. Now, you may be saying right now that you don't like spicy. This is not going to get your chicken overly spicy. This is just going to add flavor. So I'm going to go back into my water here. And now all that's going to get mixed up. And it's all even. Now I have my chicken in a zip top bag. I'm going to turn it back like this because just this simple process of turning the bag back is going to help it stand up. So you're going to go in with your liquid. Now I would have two bags, so half of it goes into this bag and the other half goes into another bag of chicken and then that's it. Just like that. This is all ready and you're going to uh, put it into your refrigerator overnight. And um, if you think that you're going to be frying chicken in the next couple of hours, increase your salt and that's it. So after your chicken comes out, Rinse it in water because you want to get all of that excess salt off the chicken because you don't want salty chicken. That'll just ruin it. So you're going to put it onto a rack over a sheet pan. And then you're going to take your chicken and put it into seasoned flour. And there's only salt in here because I have already have salt in the chicken. I already have a little bit of spice going on. So you don't need to over season this. Now, if I wasn't doing the Nashville hot chicken, I would probably put paprika or cayenne pepper and um, black pepper in addition to the salt in my flour, but I'm not doing that this time. So we get our chicken all tossed in here very evenly. Now this is where the game is. So once you put your chicken into the flour, and you can do it in a bag like my grandmother used to do. She would get that, that brown bag and start shaking it and there'd be chicken all over, the chick all over the kitchen. But if you want to contain it, you can do this, or you can put it in a zip top bag. Now, here is the game. Once you put the flour on, you are not ready to fry. Can you hear me? You're not ready to fry yet. This flour has to stick to the chicken. This is where you're going to get your crispiness from. If you went into the grease right now, all of the flour would float off and you wouldn't have crispy chicken. So once this sets, at least 30 minutes to an hour, you can even put it in the refrigerator and then bring it back out and toss it again. This is the game. This makes your chicken really crispy. So, all right, our chicken is ready to go into the oil. Uh, I like to cook my chicken in a cast iron skillet, but if you don't have a cast iron skillet, any heavy pan. My oil is at about 350 degrees. If the oil is too hot, then your chicken will burn. It will cook faster on the outside um, than the inside. If, it, if you find that it's too hot and you need to cool it down, just take some room temperature oil and that is going to lower the temperature. As simple as that. So take your chicken pieces and you go in and you should see something bubbling. You should see something happening. If nothing is happening when the chicken goes in, it ain't ready. 
All right. Going in. Do not crowd your pan. If you crowd your pan, the oil is going to drop in temperature, and it's as if you didn't heat it up. So I think four pieces is plenty. Going in. And then I'm going to put the lid on. All right, up to this point, we have traditional southern chicken. I mean, minus the seasoned flour, this is how you make fried chicken. But Nashville hot chicken, you got to put the hot in the chicken. That's what we're about to do now. That's the oil. That is another game. So we're going to tip on back here, and I'm going to show you how to make the oil. And this oil, you can put on fish, you can put on whatever. But so in my pan, I've got about a cup of oil, and I'm going to heat that up gently. I don't need a lot of heat. I just want to heat it up a little bit to toast my spices. So into my pan, I'm going to put about two tablespoons of cayenne pepper. If you have habanero pepper to step it up, you can do that too. But what I suggest is that you have mild, medium, and hot, hot. Then I'm going to go in with a teaspoon of paprika a half a teaspoon of sugar, not too much because you don't want that oil to burn, and then a half a teaspoon of granulated garlic. Then you mix all of that up, and you can see how you have that color, that red color that I grew up with. That's, that's it right there. This is why you have a piece of white bread sitting under that chicken. All this right here. Because it, after you go for the chicken, you want that second burn. It's all sopped up into that bread. All right. So then this heats up. And then when our chicken is ready, we're going to toss that chicken into this oil. And then, oh, yeah. Mm. All right. So our chicken has been cooking. I've made it in a couple of batches. And now this is the moment you've been waiting for. Up to this point, it's just been traditional southern fried chicken. Now it's going to become hot chicken. All right. So check this out. Our chicken is golden. It is gorgeous. Look at that. There is flavor in the brown, y'all. There's flavor in the brown. Oh, yeah. I'm going onto a sheet pan with some paper towels, or you can go onto a rack so that the grease um, is not sitting in the chicken. All right, look at that. Beautiful, gorgeous. Oh! All right, so then we come over here. It's still southern fried chicken. And you'll be happy with this. Don't get me wrong. You'll be so happy with this. But I want you to be damn happy with this. All right, so here is our hot oil. And you keep it on the the stove just so we can stay a little warm because you don't want the oil to cool down. I take my hot chicken, the hot fried chicken, roll it into my hot oil, and there we go. That's what's happening. That's what's up. Look at that. Look at that. And you will know when your oil is done because what I'm smelling, I'm smelling the paprika, I'm smelling the garlic, I'm smelling the cayenne pepper, and it's just flavoring that oil. Is your mouth watering? It has to be. My mouth is watering. Oh. This is when you call the kids in from outside. You're like, the chicken's on the table. This is when Granny would say, Carla, dinner's ready. OK. All right, so that's that. All right, so I've got my white bread. I take my chicken. I put it on my white bread and all that oil and juice and yumminess is sucking into the white bread. Then I take my dill pickles, I put those on top, my jam. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, it's burning, but it's so good. Mmm. You gotta get in there. No knives, no forks. 